Hey guys, Donut It's Who here, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Oblivion. Now, I have done a video on video on how to mod Oblivion, but this one is far superior to any modding tool out here. Um, as far as I know, it was actually created in 2006, not long after Oblivion was um, created in, on, on Xbox 360, and it's amazing what you can do with this tool. Um, you can change spells so it opens um, locks that need a key. Um, you can make potions that turn you into a vampire, and um, it does say some things might not work, but for the most part, um, I haven't run into any problems. I haven't fully tested it, so if you run into problems, I probably won't be able to help as much as I normally would like to. Um, but sorry, I, I, it's a pretty. No one really knows about the tool. Um, it was posted a while ago, and then someone reposted it on a website. So, first off, if you want the tool, you can head to my website, which is www.thedevilintitude.co.nr click on downloads and you'll find elder edit it's a rar file so make sure you have something like winrar or something to open it once you have that just go over to where you've saved it make sure it's extracted obviously and you'll have this little elder edit now the first thing you want to do is have your um, transfer kit connected or USB whatever you're using to get your saves off if you don't know how to get your saves off just do a quick search on YouTube since there's loads of videos on how to do that so I'm going to use Modio to open um, my save. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so now that Modio is open, we'll just go to Explore My Device. Click Open. Um, I do believe this is free. I don't think you need VIP to be able to uh, the device to explore. Content, um, whatever profile you're using. Oblivion. Um, and I think I'm using this game save, which is not actually one of mine. I just downloaded it since I didn't have any. Just drag it to the desktop. As I say before, always make a backup. Um, people that don't make a backup um, are pretty careless unless you feel they're confident enough that you won't screw up. Um, but with this program, since um, the person that created it does say it may run into some problems, it's always best to make a backup. Okay, so we've made our backup. Now what you want to do is make sure you still got module open if you don't just run it again. Um, and you'll want to drag the save in go to file contents and game data right click and extract the file and just extract it to your desktop once that's done just minimize module open elder edit and you'll get presented with this screen now let me just actually reopen that um, you can also use the readme file to understand that a bit more um, it's pretty, pretty easy to use there's really nothing that you need to do um, or need to learn since it's mo like most other modern programs so just click open, look for the game data. And where is it? Okay, where have I put it? I must have went, oh there we go. Okay, and now you'll see they've got numbers, like I have seven spells, 33 potions. Um, so you can click on a spell, and there's pwned, which is the one I created, which opens the door, um, all the doors that need a lock. You can double click, and you'll find the stuff you can edit. Um, for example, the name, you can change the name to whatever you want. Um, this is kind of like, this is, you'll be amazed what you can do with this. It's a very powerful tool. Um, I'm not even touching the surface with this video. So I'll just name this YouTube. Um, and you can change what it does. It has a wee list of little things you can make it do. Weakness to shock, vampirism, summon, telekinesis. Um, let me see, what will I do? Um, now you've got open lock here. If you want to be able to do um, to make it open um, ones that need a key, I think I put it to what did I put it to? Um, I think I put the magnitude to nine nine nine. I'm not entirely sure. I think it was something like that. Oh no, I think I left it a hundred. I'm not sure. Um, just just experiment with it. Right now for this, um, just to make this go quick. I will just use drain health um, and I'll just put it for 99 and you can put it on target, on touch or on self I doubt you want to do it on self but you know you might want to for some kind of funny video or something so we'll do it on target and like I say you can change every one of these but we'll, we'll, we'll leave the spells just now um, potions now all these are damage health right now but you can double click 
you can change the name to um, I'll just do YouTube again and you can change it to whatever I detect life disintegrate weapon um, I'm sure there's none of yeah there is a vampires one in here too if you can find it yep there is you can do the vampire one now I'm guessing this cures vampirism I don't think it actually causes it um, maybe it does cause it I'm not entirely sure um, there's water walking, weakness to shock, there's, there's a whole other, just experiment and click OK. Um, <clears throat> you've also got weapons, now, I haven't messed with the weapons that much, um, but I'm guessing it's just pretty easy, you can change the name, um, you can change the weapon charge, um, yep you can pretty much change everything it does, um, yep. It's really easy. Um, so we'll just go and save right now. Just click save. Okay, so now that you've made all your changes to whatever you're modding um, and you've clicked save, you can just close the program and close that folder. Go back to Modio and you want to right click your game data if you still have this open. If not, just drag your save back in. Um, click replace file and replace it with the game data. Now, I don't believe the other program um, resigns or rehashes it, so just click that. And you're good to go. I um, hope this video was helpful. Um, believe me, once you use it much more, oh well, and also you'll have to, you know, delete that um, and drag it back onto your flash drive or whatever you're using. Um, but once all that's done, you can just put it on your 360 and go. Um, remember, if you get the, um, the unreadable disk error, just clear your catch and it will be fine. Um, hope this video helped. More videos on the way. Believe me, this tool is extraordinary what you can do with it compared to any other tool out there to mod Oblivion, so have fun.